We have Dr. Patel with us. Hello, Dr. Patel. How are you? I'm good, sir. So, uh, we are doing this surgery today, and you, uh, we are uh, doing a QB surgery for you. Already, we have an extraction. Yeah. Now, this case is very interesting. You know your case, why it is interesting. I can answer. <laughs> so, you have taken finasteride 1 mg. You yeah. have been taking it for past uh, four and a half months. Yeah, yeah. You can four see. and a half you months. Can see. So, this is his picture. Uh, which was clicked uh, in a, in, a, a, in some other clinic four and a half months before when you were put on uh, finasteride yeah. that time. So we can see there were a lot of gaps here. So we can see the crown area, we can see here, we can see even the frontal area here. Now this was the condition you can see there. Yeah, also. Right. even other round is yeah. also just empty yeah, here. Even this portion over here we see yeah, just yeah. behind the hairline, and the hairline has also come up because if we compare this from today, now head down please, head down further down, head further down. If we see this portion over here and compare, now this is the area which is kind of very full now, even without any PRP, without any transplant. Just finasteride one mg and look at the magic what finasteride can do. So those people who are crazy about density, so two three important facts and look at this area middle portion over here. Nothing has been done. Just finasteride one mg and look at the change. This area change. See, look at the change. And just here up, please. Now look at this portion over here. Head down, little down. Look at this portion over here. Now if you see this area. It is very much thin, and now if you see this area, it is very very full. So anybody can say that this they have done a transplant. Like suppose now the clinic where you went, they told you two thousand grams. Okay, from there that day. True. See, all I need in this portion over here is now maybe we can just place five, six hundred, seven hundred, and uh, maybe two, three hundred here. So maximum thousand uh, with finesse side. So that's how the numbers change. That's how the number. Uh, that's how people have cheated. Okay. So finasteride can do this. This is not just uh, sustenance of existing hair. It is much more than that. And if you guys are paying, paying your hard-earned money, okay, and you are saying that uh, oh, this doctor created wonderful things and whatever. Uh, that's all bluff. So you know, kind of miracle stand between ourselves. Yes, it is not miracle. See, look at the donor side now. Now this is his right profile. If you take a look, this portion. Look at this this area here, and now look at this portion. We have shaved off. We have done extraction, but see this area. Now this area is much better as compared to this area over here. Why? Because of finasteride. So even the donor area improves. Uh, now look at the frontal portion. See. Now if you take a look at this area, this portion. See you had a broad, very broad forehead. Okay, that time, mm -hmm. very broad, mm -hmm. but now it does not seem that broad. So what has happened? If you take a look at this picture over here, at head down please. If you see a lot of miniaturized hair have grown in this portion over here, over here, lots and lots, and even this portion. And you can see this gap over here. Now, if you take a look at this portion here, you will find that there are uh, the, these gaps are more full now. So what has happened? The hairline has come down. The hairline has come down, and this is all because of finasteride. He has a lot of small miniaturized hair. See, look at the shape of this hairline. It was up and like this. Now this hairline does not seem like this. So a lot of miniaturized hair which have come up in the hairline zone in this area. They are they suppose had they done a transplant at that point of time, giving finasteride. How would he come to know that this is uh, not transplant, this is finasteride? No, no way he can uh, resume that. No way he can identify or differentiate between them. Now, what finasteride does it to all three aspects of transplantation? One, the area coverage. Now we know the area coverage. These areas are covered. Now we know the density. So. If I put some grafts into this, maybe 2,000, 2,500, which I can take out by FUE, I put here, 
I can say I have done seven thousand. I can say I can, I have done eight thousand. You will see great high grade people like grade six, grade seven getting transplants done just on the uh, on the support of fitness trials. So third aspect after density is hairline aesthetics. A lot of softer hair and the hairline has come down. The hairline has come down. So this down. This is the growth which is going to do two things. One, it will make the hairline look denser, less gaps. Second, it will give a softer look to the hairline, which again becomes so important and aesthetically good, appealing. So when this result starts, it is, this is high type now. Start looking at the results minus finish right? Okay. So you can take add-on finasteride after some time, maybe 6 months, 8 months, 10 months. At least know what your doctor is capable of doing. At least know. Now if we plan to reduce finasteride because uh, Dr. Patel doesn't want to take medicine now. Now the problem is 1 mg per day is like Galeki Hatti. Mm, okay. That's true. And so, a future it can create a big problem. Can, problem, can create problems plus uh, अब इसको ना तो निगल पे बनता है ना फेंक पे बनता है ये ये फंस गया। So if I stop the medicine completely altogether, he will be like worse than this because a lot of hair, if the situation will go worse than this. If so, you know it is very easy, simple, and in, in uh, highest interest of the clinic or the doctor to start. Uh, yeah. All he has to do is just look. Uh, write it with a pen. It how much time does it take? It takes just a fraction of second. Okay, finish side one mg. Now they don't even write. They have printed prescriptions and everything. So, <laughs> so, but now you are entering into a bond, into a marriage with finish side. From where there is no option of divorce, and if you divorce, big alimony you have to pay. Remember, <laughs> remember. That's so true, remember, but that's the irony and nobody is going to talk about that because they want this, they want to show you this. Now, if a person who has seen this and say, says, okay, this clinic is giving excellent density, excellent low hairlines and very aesthetically pleasing hairlines, but what is happening? Now, a person will go with this expectation. This this XYZ clinic can put a label, any XYZ label. It can be a 10 rupee clinic, it can be a 1000 rupee clinic. But if it is standing on finish right, it is not fair to you. Give yourself a chance. Understand this fact clearly. Nothing will happen if you start finish right after 8 months or so. But at least, but you will come to know the reality, the truth which no one wants you to do. So if you are watching this video, you are very lucky that uh, and you, if you haven't heard the name of Dr. Shell or Sakya Clinic earlier, again, you have hit the jackpot if you are watching this video. Do your research. Don't be befooled. Whatever information you want, come to us or you can go to any doctor who believes in principles, who believes in education and who is fair to you, whom you can trust. And as I always say, you are not getting it once. Even if you plan everything for once and you know, uh, do everything in one shot, use all the resources, fitness side, my MG, your entire donor, everything in one shot. Maybe you will, you might be screwed up for the lifetime. So it is not once, it is a journey because you might need to repeat it. Don't be in, in Mungeri Lalke Sasin Sapne. Okay? Don't be in that hair transplant is a journey which you have to, you know, go, I mean, undergo. And if you don't plan it right, so I would say plan it right and plan it now before it's too late. So what's the logo? What is the, the line? Plan it right, plan it now and for the life. Not do it once. Thank you.